What's going on, Crease fam? Back again, episode number 15. We appreciate y'all tuning in. As always, uh, I'm Trey Treasy. This is my boy, Casita. Casita, what's popping? It's chilling, dog. What's going on with you? You know, it's another day in the office. Huh? It's another day in the office. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. We had a little bit of, a little bit of action this week, a little bit of traction in the shoe world, but um, it's been hot as hell outside. Have you been outside lately? And I'm trying my hardest to stay inside. It's just too- uh, I I can't I can't wear the same pair of shoes all day just because I it's just too hot. It's just too hot, and they they're just getting hot. I got to change socks all the time now. It's just it's ridiculous. It's that hot right now. Ugh, yeah, yeah. Gross. <laughs> it is hot though. Let's just stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay fresh. But Jesus, it's so hot right now. Yeah, it's it's but, beyond me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the L meter has has also stayed very hot for me uh, as of recently. So. I, well, it's been a little bit better, but this past weekend we did we did have uh, two big one drops. We had the Satin Snakes Thursday, maybe it was Thursday, and then we had Tokyo's Friday, mm-hmm. right? And then yeah, and then the the K fifty four Jordan six came on Saturday. Uh, I did strike out on two of the three. How did you come along this weekend? Same, same two out of three. Nope, absolutely. Unfortunately, I won't be able to wear one there, so. Uh, um, yeah, I did wear. <laughs> I won the satins, uh, but they're going to somebody. So, yeah. oh, that's cool. Come up, though. I'm looking forward to seeing those. I, I've been seeing a lot of cool pictures of the, of of those in particular. Now that everybody's had them for a few days and stuff, so that satin looks buttery. The snake, I'm looking forward to seeing in person. So, I think oh, I if, think the bikinis though, the the stuzies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You got the sandals. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't get the sandals. Uh, I got the the kukinis, the, the the actual shoe, the slip on. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's nothing I was looking forward to. But I think if we had to pick one out of all three of these, I think we both probably wanted Friday, right? And neither of us got Friday. Yeah. But so. yeah, the way the L meter set up, yeah, <laughs> you can't win. You know what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying. So yeah, as much as much hate as I was bringing onto the uh, the Jordan Six, uh, the K54. Originally, the brown pair, I did go ahead and grab the purple pair. I think it's a little bit better. I like the cream on it, so I went ahead and got those. We'll see how long they stick around in my collection. I, I do like them, and as I was telling you when I picked them up, I think this is something that it's – an, it's a line for me in the Jordan line that is just a little bit more exclusive, whether it's whether these shoes are reselling for a lot or not. It's, it's, the, it's the tournament shoe, right? And this tournament didn't happen this year, which is a whole different story within itself of the shoe. Um, but I'm happy I picked up this pair, and I'm, I'm looking forward to to rocking them. Yeah, I think they do. Uh, from what I've read, uh, a lot of people say they look better in person. So uh, I guess just wait on it. Let's see what you see. see. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I can go ahead and jump into kicks of the day if you want. Yeah, man. Show me what you got, what you work All right. So, yeah, we'll be quick today with this one. But I have the uh, a pair I picked up earlier this year. Actually, I got a few things to say about these. This is the uh, Asics Gel Light 5. Uh, it's a Kicks Lab collab. Kicks Lab is a store in Japan. Really popular. Um, these are the sh- uh, Shoguns. So uh, a lot of people work on these Shamurais as well. I got off the, off the website, it has them as the Shoguns, but primarily all black. You get the black suede on the toe and on the heel, which is super duper fire. I love that look. Uh, then you get like a little bit more of a faded nubuck up here. It's a little bit more rough throughout the rest of the upper um, black rope laces, nylon rope laces, which I love. And then you get the little, um, let me see if you can see that there. Bow, you get the little logo there. So that's pretty fire. Other than that, like you already saw the insole, that's hard to beat with the little samurai dude in there. So yeah, I love rocking these. I've only rocked these a few times since I got them. What I was going to tell you about these is these dropped April of this year right very slept on nobody really looked into these or anything um and i got these on that big asic sale probably like what two months ago and everything on everything was like under 50 bucks it felt like and i was just scrolling through the website those like couple days and uh, i ended up coming up on these for 32 dollars. so i think it retailed for like 120 or something and uh i got these to my door for like 35 from off off the asics i think they were selling them all off ebay or something like that. I think it was like an A6 eBay thing they were doing. So 
Yeah, bro. Super happy to get these. These are super fire for 32 bucks. Definitely my cheapest fire shoe that I enjoy wearing a lot. And I love Asics. So anytime I can get a Joe Light for a, a reasonable price, it's definitely coming to my collection. That's a big time steal, dog. Like, man, couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fire. And the Asics logo, it's like, it's, it's red right here, but the, the logo is actually translucent. So it looks red, um, but it is translucent right here. So that's a pretty cool little feature, but yeah, there it is. KL, KL Kickslab Shoguns. Yeah, Asics. man, that suede's popping though. I really like that suede on there. It's, it's very nice. Absolutely. I enjoy it very much. Yeah, let me just go hard. Thanks, dog. What you got this week? Oh, man. Yeah, something regular. Something regular. Uh, that means it's super duper heat. Yeah, it's a little. It's super duper heat. I already know what it is. Oh, man. <laughs> These are regular ass shoes right here, dog. These are regular ass shoes. Oh, yeah. you know, some beaters. Just some beaters. Yeah, you know, some lousy <laughs> shoes. You know, you just rock them around and do whatever you want to do. You know, I don't even need it introduction no more you've seen these online you've seen them everywhere these are ldv waffles um uh, this is the varsity blue uh and red pair um uh, at first i thought this was i wanted both pairs i wanted the green pair too but i i was lucky to come up on these and you know we you know we've seen it all you know the double tongue the double heel uh the double lace you know what i mean I mean, these are definitely not DS. The Waffle Soul, you know, I've been wearing these a little bit. They're definitely head turners. Double check. You can't forget the double swoosh. So it's two shoes in one. It's day breaks, LDVs, set in one shoe, set from Sakai. Uh, I think Japanese woman designer. I mean, we've seen them, man. They're, they're hard. I love them. Yeah, they're really hard. They're so hard. And, uh, the the green pair was also super fire. I like the green pair a lot, but I prefer the one you've got for sure. The black and white pairs are also a little bit higher on my list than the uh, than the green pair. But th those right there that you got, the original, that is uh, that's hard to beat. Yeah, I mean the the other original ones were cool. I you know the pine berries are like a you know a dart in a pine dart toss, man. They, they're really cool if you have them, and it's okay if you don't have them, you know. But Aside from that, I think I prefer the mesh, the mesh toe boxes over the nylon ones, even though the nylon ones nowadays, a lot of people are rocking them and, you know, they're making them look like LeBron was in the bubble wearing them the other day. So I think they're, they're turning into the, <laughs> the new Air Force One, like the new beaters. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, that's, that's, wild. that's definitely a little hot topic there, but um the that's crazy to hear you say that because you're not usually a mesh fan on the toe box but I, I prefer the mesh over the nylon too i'm not a big nylon fan throughout the uppers we talked about that on some new balances a few episodes back and to have the whole upper like that is not something i, I mess with at all yeah i don't like mesh on my toe boxes on my fours that's you union i'm talking to you uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry yeah, man but they popped the top on those on, on the on the fours. yeah no, they did. They did. We were chopping. They heard us. So I'm um, happy they fixed something. It looked a little bit better. A little bit better. I, I seen uh, – also, I seen they had the sale off-whites. So I seen the blue off-whites, the pink off-whites, and the green off-whites. Also, a little bit of heat there, bro. Some heat there for sure. A little bit of pressure. Yeah, more L's to come. We just can't – Oh, wait. yeah. <laughs> Girl, I live, for, I live for the L's, man. <laughs> All right. Let's just get in the fresh out the box. Um, so starting now, our first topic of the day, <sighs> trust the process, right? So Joel Embiid, uh, yeah, now Under Armour's trying to trust the process. So Joel Embiid got his first shoe, the Joel Embiid one. Um, it's a very interesting looking shoe. You got meshed throughout the upper. Um, well, I mean, any initial thoughts on the shoe? Uh, I think the shoe's... Mm -hmm. The shoe's nice, okay? Like, I see what they're trying to do with it. Very Kyrie three-ish, like, with the whole take, you know, the takedown wing. Um, you know, he said that he wanted a basketball shoe, not necessarily a center's shoe. So, you know, he tried to say he wants it as light as possible. You know, anybody who's one through five can wear it. Pulls a couple, pulls a couple threes, and all of a sudden he wants a point guard shoe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who are you, dog? I mean, aesthetically, I think the shoe looks nice. You know, the first colorway that he d- debuted in the bubble was called the Origin. Uh, it pays homage to his Cameroonian roots. So cool that, you know, that you can pay homage to your homeland and, you know, spread love that way. But all in all, man, the shoe's like a hard six, man. Like, I'm giving him that bump over five, but it's just a super hard six. They're very mid. It's a UA shoe. Everybody's going to be like, it's not Steph Curry, so we don't care. Steph Curry. I don't even like the Steph Curry's, but, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't like the with the mesh on the upper, um, how gritted it is and all that. And you get, to like, the little lava the lava hit along the side there um, from the yellow going down to the orange and should have just burned them. Should just burned them all the way. Um, I, and then on top of that, huh? I was going to say the best part of the shoe is probably the outsole. Yeah. You know, the outsole is pretty nice. It reminds me of an Air Max 720 or, again, a Kyrie 2. So, you know, it's like. You get lots of traction on that. It's definitely what you were talking about earlier as far as making it a. It's definitely not a, a center shoe. This is not the Dwight Howard shoe, right? This is, you get a lot of traction with that sole. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, you know, by the time we come out, there might be more information. But my man already got injured in these shoes, um, so I mean, we, we don't want to see anybody get hurt, and I'm not happy that he got hurt by any means. But um, yeah, man, that sucks. That's that's like it just reminds me of when Steph was starting out with Under Armour too, and like he was spraining his ankle, spraining his ankle, spraining his ankle, and it was just like. I don't know if it's his ankle or if it's the shoes at this point. So um, hopefully this is just a, a one-off and we see him back on the court ASAP. Um, although they're, that Philly won't be doing anything this year. <laughs> Philly Matt quiet in the East over there. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, the best part about his shoe debut was Dame Dollar came out and trolled him. And, you know, he was like, hey, man, that looks very Kyrie-ish. Like, I've seen that shoe before. So – you know, I thought he looked at what he's wearing. But, huh? Dame needs to look down at what he's wearing first. <laughs> yeah, them Dame sixes are not doing him no justice. But I mean, all of Adidas basketball shoes are really not hitting right now. So, yeah. Thanks. Not tight. Not tight. Well, speaking of Adidas, anyway, uh, up next, we got the Adidas Ultra Boost 2021. Man, talk about two thumbs down for real. Uh, this shoe was actually designed with the marathon runner in mind. Um, you'll see here in the photos, uh, it has a super engulfed, super inflated boost cushion on the back heel. Uh, and then it looks like they just kept the rest of the shoe the same. Yeah, um, no, sure. that's exactly what it is. They kept the rest of the shoe the same. And it's like literally you can fit like three golf balls in that in that sole there. I'm I mean, it is incredibly large, it looks like. Um, but, yeah, they even said, like, most of the upper is going to be the same. They're going to u- use the same kind of fly knits and meshes on the other – as the other models have had. So, you got to give them credit for if you're going to go into a new year and you want to make a new model for the new year, you're going to adjust it a little bit. They went on, like, a crazy adjustment. And this – I think this one's probably more for the runners than it is for the casual wear. Um, so, it's not something I'm going to look forward to. I'd definitely go back to older pairs before I were to buy this pair. But um, I, I see the vision as far as trying to move forward and progress with the model. Yeah, they definitely have now. I think they killed the casual wear for the Ultra Boost. Uh, it is now a performance running shoe. You're going to see this at uh, – all your you know texas running companies type shoes of type places you know this uh, i mean hoping the best for them i hope this is their premier shoe now i mean it's always been their premier shoe but i hopefully now it returns back to the runner's premier shoe you know you want to see those people in the olympics you know running around in this so um, is sure <laughs> But all in all, it looks like uh, a Skechers shape up. So um, y'all can have fun with that. I'm not going to be wearing those whatsoever. Oh man, that sole is not tight. I'm not looking forward to that. And I'm not sure what the price is right now, but I assume it's it's pretty high as long as 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 well as the old pairs and all that. So that's not something I'm dropping anywhere close to above 170, 180 on. There's uh, no way. I, I think with the increased boost cushion, which you know was the claim to fame for the shoe. They're definitely going to have to increase it from that standard 180 uh, box. 
Yeah, so you don't like, hit that twenty dollar tax, you're gonna be in there. Let me 220 before tax. I guarantee. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Man, y'all better be running in those things. Y'all better be running. <laughs> Thank you. Damn right. Yeah. To the bank. Oh, man. All right. So, up next. That's the man. Uh, That's staying on Adidas. I was about to say three stripes all day so far. But, um, yeah, our man Yeezy. Or not our man no more. But, yeah, this man Yeezy. Uh, and D Rose are gonna come out. They're gonna come out with a little collaboration. There's like this bone-looking uh, little runner they got going. You know, it definitely plays off of the foam runner type of type of wear. I'd say is where you just foot, put your foot in there, and it's just kind of like a silicone rubber shoe that you just kind of beat up. I feel like it's it's definitely a casual wear shoe, like a Croc. Um, so what do you think about this being a D Rose collab? You know, how, how do you feel D Rose meshes into this collab being a runner shoe and not anything to do with basketball? I think he's just using the name D Rose because, you know, they're both from Chicago. So, you know, I think he was just trying to keep it local in, in that sense. Uh, I don't think D Rose really had any like imagination or creative director. No way, it. right? That's Kanye's name written all over it. Like, <laughs> From the foam runner, it, it looks like a mashup between the 451 and the mm. foam runner. Like with the, with the size comparison of the 451 and then like the way that it's shaped, it's very foam runner-esque. So, you know, I'm... I... It's hard to explain even what it looks like. If you didn't see a picture of this, I could not explain to you what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> What it looks like is like a fishbone skeleton mm -hmm. and just shaped into like a shoe-esque model. You know, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, when, when I looked at it straight forward, it kind of looked like a, like the outsole for a shoe. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of like a, an initial drawing of what you would like silhouette a shoe of <laughs> yeah well no it looked like the outsole like you know like if you take oh, a the actual outsole and just put yeah. it on the whole thing yeah yeah yeah. i can see that. yeah like this this is what it looks like it looks like this like all these ripples and stuff so i was like oh like who cares like but then you look closer and then you see oh no this is where your foot actually sits in there i'm like oh no i was like this looks bad there's actually yeah. a video on twitter of uh I, mean, I don't know who that girl is. And that's uh, his wife. That's his wife. Is that Kim? Huh? That's Kim? Oh, you talking about, about Kanye? Nah, D Rose's wife was rocking these in some pictures that dropped. Okay, that's probably D Rose's wife in those in yeah. that video as well. Uh, right. Alana. Yeah. Alana, like, Alana. Skipping around in them, and they obviously look way too big for her. But <laughs> apparently, that's how you're supposed to wear it, and that's it, for sure how you're supposed to wear it. It looks terrible. So, um, <sighs> prayers up for D Rose, man. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> prayers up, man. I really hope that you know the shoe takes off for you. I hope that you know you you, you make that dollar off of it. But I'm gonna go back to the lab with that. It's funny, like D Rose has been working out in a lot of those uh, uh those quantums, the the Yeezy basketball shoes. So, you know. I can see this actually coming to fruition. I hope D Rose is checking on his friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> he needs to go check in on, on Kanye. That's what he needs to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he needs to go check in on his friend. <laughs> checking on him. You're like, yo, man, you you still crazy. <laughs> What's up on these dunks? What's up on these next dunks? The Shashiko. Yeah. Shiko. Uh, man, uh, also known as the denims anywhere else, Japanese denims. Uh, I, you know what? I, I like them. I honestly do. I the, the embroidery is really cool. So the, the name, the Shashiko is actually Japanese for small little stabs. So, um, you know, hence the, hence the artwork on the shoe. Now, now it's like, it was beyond just like removing the leather, or yeah. Leather, you know, yeah. the leather swoosh it's now like okay those are small little stabs that make the swoosh so it makes sense so sure. you know, 
great idea. No, I, I love it. I, that makes so much sense because it is just little little pricks of a uh, of stitching there. It's it's very cool. The the quadruple or I think it's four or five on the swooshes is is nuts looking. I will say the uh, I, I do like the stitching. Obviously, you put a um, a gum bottom on a navy shoe. Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> what? Gum soles save lives, bro. Like I love gum yeah. soles. No, nah, and it was a huge hit on these. I mean, I, they hit that out of the park with these. I think a lot of other colors could have really messed this up, but um, the stitching on the very – the embroidery on the very front of the toe, I wish they didn't have all that. I think it's a little overpowering. I think it, it goes over the swoosh at one point, mm-hmm. and uh, it's just – to me, just a little minor detail change if they were to just, you know, bring that down or get the hell rid of it off the shoe. It would be a little bit better in my opinion, but – Overall, I mean, this is not the worst dunk of the year. It's not the best dunk of the year, but it'll fall right in that little – that middle category for sure. There's been a lot of them this year. Yeah. Oh, I mean, would you say it's not top five, huh? These are not top five of the year. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, think you think these are top seven or eight? Is it, it's, yeah, it, it's up yeah. there. It's top seven. I'm only counting three of the Grateful Deads, but yeah, we'll talk about that another time. Y'all tune into a different episode for that. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, but I think they're cool, Dunk. And I mean, again, as we talk about every time for a year of the Dunk for $110, you're not going to go wrong, bro, for sure. Definitely not, man. And, you know, I even made a mistake of, you know, trying to ride the wave of the year of the Dunk. And, you know, I. <laughs> shamelessly shamelessly put uh, a bit out there on the facebook marketplace here in houston and uh it's they're not even my shoes but you know my friend has a couple of old school sbs that he actually skated in which you're supposed to do in them but you know he's trying to drive off the hype and you know he got some some red lobs you know he he got some gibsons he got some irons you know and these sound fire. These sound, I mean, don't get me wrong, bro. He had a while back, he had some heat. <laughs> but what's the other pair he got? Gibson, Red Lobsters, Irons. I saw those three for sure. Uh, the, the ones that matter were how much you posted the Red Lobsters for <laughs> in the comments because these people came for your life. It was highly debatable. Oh, and you. He, the Travis effect, the Travis effect SBs, the the Newcastles, those were. Yeah. The- oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. you know, uh, you know, he's really trying to drive off the hype on all of those on some skated shoes. But yes, the Red Lobster price was outrageous, but that is his asking price. Uh, put down for one K, shoes are probably best seven out of ten. I I had to float it and put eight out of ten. Um, he's he's playing the game, bro. It's all good. It's just the game for me. I got a lot of hell no's in the comments. So, like, you know, but I got, names and stuff. I was like, I can't have that. I've, I've had some DMs where, you know, people were like, I need 800. So I'm like, but it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people people want it. So, friend is smart. He'll, uh, he'll take some, he'll take some bids for sure. Um, but those, those Shashikos. Those are those released overseas already. Those have not come out overseas. We don't even have a date over here in the States yet. So, um, yeah, good luck. If you want those, StockX right now. Otherwise, wait for that date. We'll update you as that comes around. Yeah. Again, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, and uh, post, comment, uh, share. Just show us some love, you know what I'm saying? We, we try to keep y'all. Try to keep y'all entertained. Sorry, I got a text. Uh, <laughs> I I hate when that computer does that. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Let's go into uh, order confirmed. Uh, uh, yeah, they don't got too much on order confirmed this week. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Van Simpsons collection. Like, man, you gonna have to put some respect on the Simpsons, man. Longest lasting TV show, cartoon, for the last thirty years, man. They've been in your <laughs> living room they've been in your in your living room okay they've been on your tv living room 
their animation domination. They okay. came up with like, you know, what, what is this? Like 10 different pairs of shoes. They got two pairs of slip-ons, uh, the homers. The, then they got this full cast that kind of looks like where's Waldo type of thing. Yep. Yep. They got the skate highs, the the, the Lisa for president joints. And um, then they have like a pair where it's like one side is the what, the way that the current family looks in the present day. And then they have the, the like the OG family, like the way that the, it was drawn back in the day. And yep. they have the Alex version as well which features uh, Mr. Plow, which I think is the the neighborhood drunk dude. Uh, or I think it's actually Homer. I think Homer is Mr. Plow. They got a pair of old schools as well. Uh, the has an O to the three sisters, which is Marge, Patty, and, Thel- uh, and Selma. A uh, pair mm-hmm. of Bartos, uh, which is Bart's alter ego whenever he's about to do some crime. And then an, ep- uh, an episode. They have a pair of old schools as well for, ooh, dang, that is loud. They got a pair of old schools for uh, Moe's Tavern. Um, so. Some interesting pairs. Yeah. There's, there's some pairs. I, I think the, uh, you know, I'm not a huge Chucka guy. I don't buy a ton of Chuckas, but the El Bartos are hard to be like, nah, bro. I yeah. think uh, anything with Bart on him is pretty cool for people our age that have been watching The Simpsons for a long time. Um, and then I'm not even going to front. The, the purple Lisa's for president go hard, bro. They they definitely do good on the yellow laces with her face on this side. I think those – they did a really good job on this whole pack. The only ones I, I could say I don't like are the shoe that I usually buy the most, which are the authentic. And uh, I'm just not a big fan of that green with the with the most bar – with the most tavern. Um, through, I'm not a big fan of that one. No, okay, so you're mistaken. Uh, the authentics are a Krusty the Clown edition, and they have itchy and scratchy all over it. The old schools are – they have the old schools, yeah, yeah. The old schools, yeah. That's what I meant to say. The old schools yeah. do not do not do not mess with those at all. Yeah. Um, with those tavern on, those are not something I. Uh, those colors just don't even work for me. Those are. Those are those they have a lot of tight uh, gear. They got some tight gear that came with this pack. Yes, they got a lot of apparel and accessories as well. Um, backpacks, t-shirts, you know, me oh my, everything that you can think of under the sun, they got it for it. So. Um, you know, if you're a big Simpsons head, go off and go get that. That would definitely be something to put in your collection. Uh, what is – who is your Simpsons? Oh, man. Bart, hands down. Bart? Not even, not even a question, bro. Yeah. yeah. I got a younger sister, so, you know, terrorizing them is, uh, you know, what I do. <laughs> and now my, my favorite character has to be, I think, Sideshow Bob, like – you know, the villain, but like, yeah, the- man, they got some cool ones, you know, Krusty's wild. They got like crazy ass characters. Oh yeah. Otto, you know, the- oh, oh. Man. the, uh, the donut slides. I'm not mad at either. I think they're kind of fire. You get some fire socks with those. You, uh, you know, can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, that, that is the Van Simpsons collection. Um, you know, if you are a, Simpsons head, if you like Simpsons anything, this is definitely right up your alley. This is not the first time that Vans has collaborated with the Simpsons either. Uh, so if you have any of their old collection as well, uh, go ahead and, you know, restock or re-up or add on. So uh, add on, yes. We're going to go ahead and jump right into uh, Paul George collection uh, with – Nike, of course, um, but you know he's always partnered with Gatorade. This is his fourth shoe. Um, he just dropped a quick little two pack. It's gonna be the orange, uh, the orange GX and the white GX. Uh, those released on August eighth for one hundred and twenty bucks a piece. Uh, now, surprisingly enough, you know uh, Nike basketball shoes typically don't sell out, but these Paul Georges actually sold out, which was crazy. The orange pair did. The white pair is still available for 120 bucks on the sneakers app, uh, full size run at that. So um, definitely something you may want to check out. Uh, How do you feel about this drop? I think they're cool. They're interesting. Uh, I mean, his Gatorade collabs, I think that's probably what zoomed through the roof a little bit. But um, I think these Paul Georges are one of the better ones I've liked out of the last couple. I'm not a huge fan of his shoe. Uh, I, I lean towards more a little bit more of the KDs and the Kyries and stuff like that for when I'm buying hoop and shoes. But these are cool. I'm I got no no problem with these. The uh, the translucent overlay looks cool. The orange alone is fire. But um, 
the fact that they sold out, you know, I saw a lot about that when it happened and I was just like, eh, you know, it doesn't, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and say I'm shocked because it's a cool hoop and shoe and it looks, it looks aesthetically pleasing, but it's not something even for $120 that I would want to buy. I think, I think that was Nike, uh, you know, using a hype machine against us, you know, they're like, Oh yeah, the orange pair sold out. You should probably get the white pair. Right. I wouldn't shock you. You know, probably did very low, very low inventory. You know, I'm sure they're going to be shelved over there at Foot Locker or something like that. So, um, I had a, I had a homeboy who told me he uh, he picked up a pair to start hooping in, and looking forward to hearing how he uh, how they run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think they're going to be great hooping shoes, but um, I I was shocked to see that they sold out. Yeah, any of those pairs. Uh, of course, you can still find some PG fours at your local foot sites or whatever and local outlets bro you can go find some pgs at your outlets bro go come up on them right now and go hoop they are on sale so yeah for sure just don't go outside in texas if you're hooping right now make sure you're in the gym damn have to get rid of that damn mosquito tray all right where are we at we're um Rolling into the last pair of shoes on uh, order confirmed. Uh, that is going to be the Nike Air Max, uh, Nike Air Vapor Max 2020 in the deep royal blue and summit white colorways. Uh, they released on August 6th last week for $250 a piece. Now, this year's models compared to the recent year models or last a couple years ago's models. This one now introduced the Fly East technology. It's the same technology that they use on, uh, like, the Space Hippies. And, uh, you know, it's very easy for you to uh, tie the shoe down. Um, it's a pulley system. And, you know, all you have is an eject button in the back. It's a, an eject pulley on the back as well. Um, I think I like these uh, a little bit more. I, I'm a big lace guy, uh, but... You know, if you make it even more simpler to lock down the shoe, that's really cool. You know, I know you're a Velcro guy, so how do you feel about these? Yeah, no, these aren't for me. No, I don't like these as much as the as the old Vapor Maxes. Um, this first colorway, the the deep royal blue colorway, off the bat, is not for me. So I just don't like the colorway on this one. I do like the Summit white one a little bit more. However, the um, I, I like my laces too, and I'm just not feeling the release the release strap on the Vapor Max uh, on these Vapor Maxes. However, I did see that they're like, like you just said, they're trying to like fully expand on the whole space hippie thing. So um, they're going to keep going with this, with these products and the sustainability and trying to make it as efficient as possible for all their wares, all their customers. So um, just like we were talking about, this is a good upgrade to a new year shoe, right? So they did a very good job as far as adding the technology they're using right now on the shoe they're having the line that's coming back around this year. So I think they did a great job of matching that up. Uh, yeah. I'll be looking forward to some other colorways because these look extremely comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I think they're still using like all the same recycled materials. You know, they're, they're expanding out this space hippie thing for as big as they can. They may want to rename it, honestly, because you can't space hippie everything. Um, but, you know, they got some Jordan 1s coming out a little bit later. But, uh with these Vapor Maxes, like you said, I think they do look hella comfortable. Um, I, I'd be down to get either pair. I think they're both still available on sneakers, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I'll be looking into that. 250. 50. That ain't nothing. It's like they. Uh, I dropped 250 on the court. I was about to say, now when you buy Adapt Auto Maxes. <laughs> <laughs> I can drop 250 on the court, no problem. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. Tracking order. Uh, tracking order, for sure. I did report that the Ghost Green 5s came out on August 9th. Uh, that is actually incorrect. They dropped this week on August 15th. Alternate uh, Bel Airs. The alternate Bel Airs. <laughs> like, man, it says Ghost Green online. So. No, no, you're right. No, you're 100% right. I just, for the people that are like, what the hell are the Ghost Greens? Uh, if you watched last week's episode, that need to go back and watch that. Mm -hmm. definitely definitely go back and watch last week's episode and you'll be all caught up to date on what the hell these name of the shoes are they are the bel air alternatives alternatives or alternates uh bel air bel air part three um and 
they are coming out on August 15th. Uh, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, first up, we have the tie-dye uh, or the Peace and Love Adapt Basketball 2. Speaking, of, speaking uh, of the adapts, huh? Oh, man, speaking of adapts, dog, hey, look. They're really cool, dog. And I think I like this pair, too. This pair is really interesting. You know, they got the nice little icy blue panels. Uh, they have the uh, – on the outsole, like, you can see some of the tie-dye as well as underneath the strap. You can see some of the tie-dye print as well, um, as well as a, I think it's an all-white upper. Uh, they're really sick. I, I'm, yeah, they're super dope. Uh, but that price tag is not dope. 350 bucks uh, for August 13th. Be on the lookout for those. Yeah, uh, I think the first, first look at these we saw we saw John Morant um, wearing these on the court I think a week or two ago. So he brought these out and he was hooping, getting buckets. And these these are these are fuego. These are super fire. Um, I, I definitely like these. Probably my favorite colorway of the shoe, mainly because if you're gonna go and have a shoe that laces itself and it's just gonna be wild already, then you might as well throw a bunch of tie dye on it. And the tie dye extra pops on the white. So um yeah everything about it i think i think they knocked this one out of the park it looks really good like you said the price tag is the only thing holding most people back i would assume um you also get the tie down on the bottom of the shoe underneath the clear outsole but um we were talking about this earlier the blue the icy blue on the panels throughout the shoe is uh that's a hitter bro that's a hitter for sure yeah definitely knocks the shoe out the park it adds that extra flair that you know it almost already didn't need but Right, right. The heel is like it's got the blue like hanging off, and it almost looks like it's uh, in winter when it's cold and it's freezing, and they're hanging off your house. <laughs> yes, it looks like an icicle hanging off the back of the shoe. Um, but those are calls. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, uh, I think it looks cool. I think it's a dope shoe, and I, I would, I would look forward to having this if I was willing to pay that. Yeah, no, definitely. If I had an extra three fifty, you know, if my stimulus check hit today, I would be looking forward to those sometime this week. So, um, all right, all right. Uh, moving on, I think these are women's, huh? These Air Max nineties, these violet and infrared blends. No, uh, they got them on sneakers right now. I'm not sure if they're just women's. Uh, okay, um, but you know, they got the violets, uh, the purple croc panels, uh, black pony hair, cracked suede. Uh, yeah, they really talk about how they want these to be like luxury. They want these to be very upscale looking shoes. So the violet pair is, it's wow. It's got all the colors on it. It's got a couple different purples on it. It's got the green on it, the red laces in it, turquoise sole, uh, outsole. So it's a very interesting shoe. But as Cita just mentioned, you get ponytail on the toe, uh, on the toe box. Um, you get the crocodile panels along both the sides. Uh, you still get the crack suede on there and everything. So, I mean, the violet pair, it's, it's wild looking. But this, you get the same exact features on the infrared pair. And all those features in all black. It kind of reminds me of these, to be honest with you, because you, you get the all black upper. Even on the outside of the shoe, it's all black. And then you just get the inner swooshes and the branding on the inside and the infrared. Um, I'm not a huge fan. What's up? Like on the medial side? Yeah, on the inside of the shoe. On both sides of the insides of the shoe. So, um, yeah, I think, I think they both look pretty cool. I, I prefer the black pair. But um, this is not something I, I wouldn't I, – I really like the ones, all the safaris you have. Um, but as far as, as rocking the pony hair in the all black, I, it's just not for me. It's not something I'm going to buy. I think they look cool. It's not something I'm going to buy. So you're accepting gifts. No, I am accepting gifts. I am. I am. That is correct. I'm not going out of my way to get them. But if somebody gets them for me – Put my address in your DMs as long as you tell me you got them in my size. Thank you. Uh, be on the lookout for those. August 15th, 140 bucks. Yeah, I'm taking the infrared pair uh, home with me. Um, actually, I owe somebody a pair of shoes. So I get those for <laughs> Yeah, if they come in men's sizes, hook us up. Um, last but not least, yeah, I love mentioning this brand now. This, this is going to be one of my favorite brands. Hey, hi. Yeah, they're, they're, they're looking really good right now. We're talking about Puma's, uh, Puma RS2K's um, collaboration with Mr. Doodle. You've yep. probably seen him online. He's the guy who does everything in one-line strokes. I guarantee he has a collaboration with Sharpie. 
he has to have a contract with Sharpie, the way that the man be going through. Yeah, you, you probably don't know if you've seen his work before, as we say the name Mr. Doodle, but, like, I promise you've probably seen his work somewhere or another. Somewhere, man. Well, yeah, he got his own collaboration with uh, Puma, the RS2K, All Wide Upper, Mitzel features some of his artwork. I'm sure it would be really cool if they were all one of one but I highly doubt he has time to do all of that. Um, followed by, like, some roping um, throughout the upper mesh toe box. Ye- is it yellow or green? It's, uh, it's primarily orange with white and black. It's got it's got the the gray puma stripe down the side, um, but primarily white and black on the upper with orange on the inner lining, the bottom of the laces and the heel, uh, the outsole of the heel is all orange. Okay, yeah. So, but they're they're super fire, like you said. I, I don't know how I feel about the rope lace throughout the whole top of the upper of the shoe. I mean, it's wild looking. It it gives me like a dunk off my dunks right so yeah it's it's that's exactly what it looks like the the arrow is kind of a weird placement for that arrow right up front it's just kind of like squiggling and it's just pointing towards the back of the shoe so i don't know if that's a mr doodle thing or if that's a puma thing but it's it it looks interesting that's for sure if anything that arrow Um, mr doodle he does that dope so yeah the direct the design along the side is super fire. So I, I like that. It's a, uh, it's nostalgic for my, uh, that's what I think it is. But I went back and looked at this because we just had J Cole. We talked about that last week. He had the RS dreamer. Uh, and then we've seen the RS X that we've talked about in the past a few times. The main difference on these is that it has the little heel clip. It's got the, it's the heel sticks out a little bit further. So the J Cole shoe, the heel, it clips out and then it goes up a little bit. This one just goes straight out. Um, and then the regular RSX3 is just a swoop. It's just clean right along. So it doesn't stick out at all. Um, but that's the only main difference I see on these between the, the RSX line, I guess you'd say. But they've really been pushing the shoe. And uh, I think it's this is a fire collab. Yeah, no, definitely big time fire collab. Uh, I'm loving that arrow. That arrow is that's <laughs> hot, bro. I, I think it adds like a little flair. Definitely it very does. It does. It gives it an interesting, like, cool vibe. But, like, yeah, I was just like, bro, right there on the front of the shoe, like, right in the toe box. <laughs> yeah, like, who else does arrows? Virtual. He does it all. Apparently, Mr. Doodle does arrows. Yeah, those plus the roping all along the upper, like, it's 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 hard, bro. I, I'm really interested in this. I think Puma really came out the gate with this one. Uh, and then definitely with the touch with uh, – uh, Mr. Doodle with being on the midsole as well as the heel cup as well. So, you know, I, I, I think they knocked it out of the park with this. This is a really great collab for them. And I'm happy that Puma's it's having a great yes. end of 2020 yeah. as nobody else has been having. So <laughs> 120 though, I'm, I'm cool with 120 for sure on a collab pair, bro. Uh, you check those out on the 14th, those drop on the 14th. Uh, yeah, I'll have 120 ready. Yeah, and shout out Mr. Doodle. Uh, if you've never seen his artwork, go ahead and take a look at that. Um, you can find him on YouTube. You can find him on Instagram, everywhere uh, at Mr. Doodle. Uh, such a funny name to say, Mr. Yeah, I know. It's, I was like, who the heck? And then I looked at the work, and I was like, oh, this guy, this guy. Everybody has that unique uh, little sense. All these are designers and artists, so it was cool to see that he got his own collab. That's the RSS 2K. RSS 2K, absolutely, from Puma. All right. Uh, and that's actually closing down uh, tracking order. So, um, yeah, no, we close every episode with uh, sitting on the shelf. Oh, yep. Since we've had basketball back, uh, the bubble has been Is there... fire with some NBA bubble sneakers. You know, uh, we just thought that we'd mention some of our favorite ones. Yeah. We already mentioned Joel and B. You know, he debuted his brand new shoe there uh, with the UA1. Those are set to release in September. Giannis, still can't say his last name. I tried all day yesterday to say it, but, you know, shout out to the announcers. I get to say it every time he plays. Uh, he also debuted the Zoom Freak 2s. Yep. Uh, so that was John, Morant, John Morant pulled out those tie dye adapts. Yep. So, yeah, we brought some stuff up. LeBron debuted a new Zoom soldier, you know. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, LeBron's been pulling out stuff left and right. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, yeah, LeBron been switching shoes mid-game, so, you know. <laughs> I know. Not gonna be heat on heat. 
Yeah, he was rocking the media days just the other day. So I was like, yeah, yeah. how's nothing for him? Uh, but I, I guess my first shout out, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and shout out Demar, man. He's been pulling out some Kobe's that I, that I, I mean, he always pulls out crazy Kobe's. Obviously, he's got the the in and all that. He's been pulling them out for years and years. But I've been seeing some fives on uh, Demar. He pulled out a navy pair. Um, with like a maroon swoosh, I think that was crazy. He pulled out a black pair with uh, neon volt and orange inner lining. That was wild, but yeah, definitely big shout out to Demar. Demar's been as usual on fire, and he's uh, his his Kobe Five PE collections probably has to be bar none the best. You know, uh, between him, you know, Devin Booker, you know, he splashed over PG the other day in a pair of, of fives. His said be legendary on the side. So, you know, that's – come on, PG man. PG and Kawhi both got that work. You, you can't make this type of stuff up, dog. Like, this is not really – and then, of course, AD was rocking a pair as well. So, um, you know, he was rocking the, the Laker edition the other day. So, Crazy heat from the Kobe line. Crazy heat in the bubble from the Kobe line. DeMar rocked a pair for his birthday the other day, actually. You know, yeah. all silver. Oh, yes, I did see those, too. Stop. Stop, bro. Yikes. So, you know, yeah, the the, the Kobe 5 protos, like the, the pro tros, those are obviously big flames right now. Uh, and I think we got three pairs coming out next week that we will talk about on episode 16. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I want to shout out WNBA player real quick. Super. Okay. Oh, yes, the GOAT. We respect all, any any athlete, we respect all athletes, regardless of gender, creed, or religion. So Sue Bird, you know, she came through with the big, 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 big flames, stunning on y'all moves. She puts out a pair of Dior's, uh, Dior Air Jordan 1's. You wouldn't believe it, bro. <laughs> Definitely a head turner. Um, I mean, what else is there to say, bro? She's rocking Dior once, but she's been had heat, okay? Like, her sideline heat game is ridiculous. You know, definitely probably one of the hardest ones uh, in the WNBA. You know, I love following league fits. That's probably yep. one of my favorite pages on Instagram. And yep. uh, these dudes be coming into the bubble. Just these dudes. out. It's super swaggy just for no reason. So, shout out. It's a runway every time they walk in now. Yeah. Oh, psh, come on. Because they're trying to get on league fits. I feel it. I feel it. League, league fits was having their championships this weekend, and I was like, these motherfuckers dress, bro. <laughs> they dress for a living. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, man. Shout out to – they didn't put D'Lo on there. I saw D'Lo be bringing some fits, bro. But I, I, I think Jordan Clarkson, bro, I think if I had to pick a league fits winner for the year right now, that man Jordan Clarkson be pulling out some stuff that I'd be like, ain't many people pulling that off, bro. <laughs> Chill. What about my boy Shy? Shy, Shy be dressing comfy as hell, bro. That's why I like about Shy's his style, man. He he dressed so comfortable and he looks so swaggy at the same time, bro. Mm-hmm. What, I ain't at all. what shoe was it that he converted to a low top? Oh man, don't get me lying, but I do remember seeing them for sure. He converted one pair of shoes to a low top, and yep. Yep. yeah, man, and he killed it. People were roasting him for it, but he didn't care. Yep. His like, well, what are you gonna tell him about his shoes? You know what I'm saying? Another notable uh, that I have to mention is CP3. He's been on a little HBCU tour with his yep. with his shoe, his 12th edition of. Uh, his signature line was Jordan brand. Um, most recently, he brought out the Albany State Universities, the Livingstone Universities yeah. as well, with the nice bear decal on the back. And, of course, the Howard Universities, the HUs, you knows, uh, with the Bisons on there as well. So um, The Livingstone pair went hard. Yeah, that, I think that one was the one where more people were starting to notice, like, yo, you're really doing this HBCU thing, so. Yeah, man. Shout out to him. He's been rocking them jackets and stuff for his runway on the way in when he knows all those cameras are looking. Yeah. You know, he, you don't become the president for nothing, man. He's putting on. He's always been putting on. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, shout out CP3 for that. Big shout out CP3. Shout out to Prez over here. Big Prez PJ. Big you Prez. Know what I'm 
Craig, big Presidente, you know, you know. You know know what it is. You already know what it is with him, bro. We could sit here. We have a whole episode on all the heat. He's bust out in the bubble. (laughs) I think we're going to have to have a whole, like, PJ Tucker dedicated show one day. But Uh, this man, PJ, just recently, you know, like, chilling in the film room in a pair of sample Yeezy One, some Nike Yeezy One samples that, you know, like, people just casually doing it, too, man. Chilling. I mean, he warmed up in the airships the other day. He warmed up and he didn't even wear them for anything. He just warmed up in them. Come on, bro. You got to get those from Italy right now. You got to get those from Italy. He was warming up in them. <laughs> Who does this, man? He, he does this. <laughs> like, when they announced the bubble, like, yeah. the first thing on my mind was, damn, how many pairs is PJ going to bring? And sure enough, he took 100 pairs, bro. So he brought a closet for sure, bro. He brought – he brought stuff he hadn't worn, bro. Like, oh, man, just I, crazy. He, he had Grateful Deads on, too. So, you know, it's like, you know he had to get those either early or he all three colors, bro. He had all three colors. <laughs> he is on something, bro. And I need to take whatever he's on. Cause bro, I, man, he's turning up. He's had a lot of good stuff. He's had a lot of good stuff lately, I think. I mean... Kuzma's, Kuzma's been rocking some stuff. I saw he rocked the Dreamers in game. So shout out to him for rocking that J. Cole, their J. Cole kick in game. Um, but, you know, what is it? The 34 has been super popular among all the, the young bloods. Definitely. Hey, man. Shout out to anybody who got theirs. Um, Ryu. Uh, yeah. T- Hachimura. Hachimura. Yeah. Young Bug, man. He, he got his. He dedicated his pair to, you know, half of his heritage being Japanese. So, you know, his are really fire. Jason Tatum got his. Welcome to the zoo. Uh, Let's go hard. Let's go hard. (laughs) He actually had a a pair of PEs but had his son's name on the back. Those those Superman edition, those look super hard. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to him. Yeah, man. We talked about Zion with the jungle. He had the jungle. What is this? uh, Swamp Boys or what was it? Yeah, he had the Swamp Boys. The original, his original PE was the Swamp Boys, uh, but now he just came out with a pair for his little brother called the Noahs. Right, so, right. Edition, you know, uh, I'm too grown for that, but I get it. <laughs> and then uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., you know, he got a pair as well. So, yeah, you know. everybody pulling them out. Them 34s are probably the best hoop and shoes. Right I was going to say, they got to be, bro. If, they, if they, they got all these young kids on them, like for sure, no doubt. I mean, and they've gotten the right ones, right? So they've gone to I'm, – I'm really happy for Rui Hachimura. That's dope that he he got his own shoe on a on a really bad team. The Wizards are not good. And he, you know, he hasn't gotten the recognition. Some of these other guys that are getting shoes and stuff like that. But he was a big-time player in college at Gonzaga. And um, definitely, I think I think I'm – I'm very happy he got his own shoe, although I will not be purchasing that shoe. It's a cool shoe, but not that version in particular. It's not about the team that the person plays for. It's about the player. I would say that, but, yeah, I mean, I guess, because Jaws in Memphis, and he's getting his own, but I don't know. It helps when you're winning, that's for sure. Yeah, and, I mean, it definitely helps if you're winning, but, you know, those players are not subjective to those teams. He's a really good player, and he's going to be good in the future. And they know, they know it's coming, bro. They, Washington's going to have to rebuild at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're going to have to shut. I hope they go back to those gold, those gold jerseys. That'd hey, be- man, the hibachis, bro, bring them gold jerseys back. We need them. That was, we them. That was a whole different brand. That was a whole different brand, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are crazy. I mean, Nike be switching up these jerseys every year now, so. It wouldn't shock me if we get a little throwback. It wouldn't shock me. Man, I, I'm waiting for these rocket throwbacks with these pinstripes. That's what I'm really waiting for. You know what I'm saying, dog? I just – I saw some shorts that came out. They were like – they're the pinstripe look, but it was black and red. And I was like, man, I, I need blue. I need this blue or this white jersey. <laughs> Bring back Turbo, too, man. We need Turbo. Hey, oh, wow. They don't know about that. They don't know about that. <laughs> The one other one I was just thinking about, uh, Lonzo pulled out the China Kobe nines, and I don't remember how long I, it's been since I seen those on court. And I was like, they put the like the shoe on the like while the game was happening live, they put that on the on the screen, and I was like, oh, I was in those. <laughs> I know what those are. <laughs> hey, episode nine. Yeah, I was there for that. <laughs> so, 
So it's a big shout out to Lonzo Ball, even though the Pellies are out the game at this point. But um, lots of NBA to go. So they'll be pulling out kicks every single day in the bubble, whether they're playing or not. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the heat going forward. Definitely. And, you know, we want to hear y'all's opinion, too. Who do y'all think is rocking the best heat in the NBA bubble series? You know, what do we forget? Tell us who we forgot. Tell us who we forgot. Who we forget. <laughs> yeah, tell us who we forget. You know, adding your your honorable mentions for sure. Um, you know, we we want to hear from y'all. So uh, definitely let us know who uh, who you think is rocking the best heat or no. I mean, oh man, Montrez Harrell. You know, big sneaker head. Coming back when he gets back, bro. When he gets in the bubble, y'all in trouble because Montrez Montrez always brings it and. The customs are coming. The customs are coming with Montrez. Definitely. Definitely. But uh, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 15 of the Crease Podcast. Uh, it's been fun, guys. We appreciate y'all coming back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, uh, and comment on all the stuff that you see here today. Uh, yes. It's been fun again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Casita. I'm here with, with my boy, Trey Treasy as usual um and don't forget guys as usual uh ain't no half stepping right here so we will catch y'all for the next episode peace peace